Hi guys, welcome back to Wigs with Steph. I'm Steph and I have good news for you today and hopefully this will give you some relief. Every single person can wear light hair and dark hair and red hair and blonde hair and brown hair and it doesn't matter what skin color you have. Everybody will have options. But the trick to choosing a hair color to make your eyes pop, to make you look really beautiful, to complement your skin, making you look vibrant and healthy, it comes down to skin tone. But what tone should you choose? Now this is the question and this is what we're going to be covering today. If you've clicked on this video and you're interested in how to pick the right hair color for you, but in order to do this, you need to have an idea of what your skin tone is. Not skin color, skin tone. If you already know that you're either a cool tone, neutral, or warm tone, then keep on watching. And if you don't already know, then please refer to my other video up in the corner here. Once you know your skin tone, this video is gonna make a whole lot more sense. So for those of you who are still with me and already know what skin tone you are, we can now jump into it to determine the best shades of hair color to suit your complexion. Typically, cool tones match cooler hair colors like platinum or cool brown or ashy hues. Now, for those of you who don't know but are wondering, I am cool tone and I look best in cool tones because I can tell you that without makeup, when I put a warm colored wig on my head or back in the day when I would dye my hair a warm color, something would be way off. Like it would look really bad on me. Like I would look sickly. My eyes would not pop. I would look like I'm like totally washed out just sickly. That's the best way of putting it. But back then I was young and I just didn't understand color or tones and I was just wearing the wrong color and I just didn't know. I didn't know that. With that being said though, let's say you're somebody who tans in the summertime like I do. Well, I can tell you that in the summertime, I lean more neutral. I could get away with neutral tones or warmer tones at that point, but I have to make sure my outfit colors, like my shirt, for example, and my makeup matches the tone I'm going for. If I wanted to wear a warmer toned wig, I would have to use warm toned bronzer on my skin, choose a top that's warm, and then I could likely pull it off with my summer tan but that's that's me in a nutshell. Everybody's different, but I wanted to point this out because let's say after you watch this video, you realize that the wig you bought or the color you dyed your hair doesn't work with your skin tone and you're like freaking out and you're like, ah, maybe you like that color so much, which is why you chose it to begin with, but suddenly it looks amiss on you and suddenly you don't like it on you and you're wondering why. Well, this is likely why. It's likely the wrong tone against your skin, but if this is your situation by the end of this video, don't fret because you can manipulate your own skin color to make it warmer or cooler depending on what your hair or wig color is against your skin. So for warmer skin tones, you will be complimented by warmer hair colors like the golden brown or the golden blonde, the bronze, the copper, the red hair dyes, or wig colors. This is a wig channel after all. This part is the most confusing to most people. So let me break this down. If you have light skin with cool undertones, an icy platinum blonde, or an ashy hue will beautifully complement this type of complexion. I have two wigs here. One is icier than the other, but they're both cool toned. This one is cooler than this one. And when I hold it up against each other, you can probably see that, right? But when I'm wearing it just one-on-one, -on -one, this is a cool toned wig with some neutral pieces. By the way, every wig that I hold up or wear in this video will be down in the description. I've done a full length review video on each one showing you the cap construction, showing you how to put it on, all the things. Go down to the description, it will all be there. Let me show you what it would look like if I put on this icy platinum wig. Because remember, I am cooler tone. So these colors really, really suit me even when I'm not wearing makeup, guys. Right now I am wearing makeup, but when I don't wear makeup, like if I just want to quickly run to the grocery store and I plop one of these cooler toned wigs on, I tend to look really good and healthy and my skin is radiant and that's when I get the most compliments. This is my icy platinum wig with an ashy root. So this wig color or hair color if you're planning on dyeing your hair would be great for cool toned girls or guys. You don't have to stick with blondes if you're going for cool tones, right? Because even darker colors can be cool darker colors. 
Okay, so let me put on a darker wig that is also cool toned. This is the coolest brown that I currently have. So here we are. This is a cooler brown color with some warmer highlights. So it has some warmth going through it. So you can definitely be a blonde, be a red, be whatever you need to be if you have the right tone to suit your own skin tone. Ideally, if you're a cool toned person, you want to avoid yellow or brassy hues if you have pale skin and cool undertones. These shades can make you look dull and we don't want that. I made this mistake when I was younger and it was not a good look on me, but at that time I didn't know what was wrong. If you have light skin, those with naturally light hair and fair skin against warm undertones are best suited to warm blonde hair colors like honey or golden hues. This is going to complement the warmth in your skin. So I'm going to show you the closest wig that I have on hand to kind of meet that because it has some honey in it and this is a warmer wig in comparison to my cooler ones and I'll show you when I put it up against the other ones. All right I'm not gonna completely brush it out because that'll take too long but just for me to show you anyone with this complexion and naturally darker hair would also look great with a warm brunette shade. As you can see, we've got some honey and we've got some golden hues throughout this wig. Now I'm gonna bring back the icy just to show you the difference. You see that? So this is more ice, this is cooler, and this is slightly warmer. Now, would I call this wig, because somebody's asked me this before, would I call this wig a warm wig? No. I would actually call this a neutral wig. Taking in all of the dimensional color together, I think it appears more neutral because when I wear this wig without makeup, I can still pull it off when I have a slight tan. And that is sort of how I know that this wig leans more neutral, but it does have some warm pieces. It also has some cooler pieces. And because of the mix of the two, that's making this wig appear more neutral. Whereas this wig was only cool. Now, remember that first wig I had on? Let's now put that one up towards this one. This one is cooler than this one. Okay. Anyone with this complexion that we're talking about and naturally darker hair would look so stunning with warm brunette shades like a silky chocolate brown or caramel brown or golden brown. This wig is very warm. And now against my own skin tone, because I'm mostly wearing cooler things, I'm not super warm today. I'm not looking super warm. My makeup isn't super warm. It's almost not looking the best on me, in my opinion. This wig is typically warmer than I would normally wear, but anyone with a naturally darker hair color would look absolutely stunning in this color. If you have light skin with neutral undertones, you're really lucky because you're going to look amazing with lighter colors of any tone, even the reddish blondes, the caramel hues. If you have medium skin with cool undertones, look for cool tones in a darker shade. It'll literally be perfection. I'm talking about like those rich brunettes or darker blonde shades. So the one I had on, maybe slightly darker blonde, would be beautiful on you. Or you could do something like this wig that I had on previously. This would look absolutely stunning on you. If you have medium skin with cool undertones, oh, this would look beautiful on you because of the dimensional color, like just look at this richness layered throughout. And when you do this and you choose the right color for this skin tone, it's going to be balancing out any redness in your skin and it's gonna complement your deep brown or blue eyes absolutely beautifully. If you have medium skin with warm undertones, you're gonna wanna look for honey brown hues, warm reds or caramel colors. So I'm gonna show you a warm red right now. Would look absolutely stunning on somebody with medium skin and warm undertones. Ooh, this wig is fire. Really need to brush it out though. If you're wanting something lighter, Try to avoid super lighter platinum blonde. Instead, opt for a warm shade that will complement your bronze complexion. Alternatively, you could try a balayage technique for a beautiful warm blend. But this is a beautiful red that you could try if you had 
medium skin with warm undertones or you had light skin with warm undertones, right? Because you can be any skin color as long as the tone matches up. We got to keep going. If you have medium skin with neutral undertones, you can opt for warm or cool colors. You can go both ways right? Because neutral, you're lucky you can go both ways. So you could do a golden chestnut brown hair color or a deep red. That would be my best suggestion for you. There is truly a range of flattering colors you can try to make your skin glow and look super healthy. But this would be a good one for you. This taboo wig definitely leans warm, but not as warm as Stella leans. By the way, all of these wigs come in different colors, which I love because if you like the style, but you don't like this color, you need it in like your own skin tone, they have it in such a variety. So you would definitely be able to find it. And then if you have, I think you're kind of getting the picture now, but if you have dark skin with cool undertones, then you're best suited for cool hair colors. You've probably picked up the pattern at this point, but for cool, deeper skin colors, a cooler dark brown or black hair color is really gonna look stylish and sophisticated and oh so flattering, especially if you already have naturally dark hair. Now, if you have dark skin with warm undertones, Tones. You can play around with many warm hair colors. You could do the honey blonde hues to the warm reds and the golden brunette shades. If your hair is naturally dark, an ombre hair color would be a really great choice for you because it'll help enhance your golden undertones while still keeping your dark roots looking natural. Most of you already know this, that when I wear wigs, I especially like the rooted wig colors, especially rooting that's similar to my own, and that's why I can easily blend it in with my own hair. If you have dark skin with neutral undertones, you can try anything from ashy tones to fiery reds to golden shades. Although I recommend choosing a color that's close to your natural shade if you're only looking for a subtle change. Ultimately though, you can rock whichever color or tone you think best represents you and your personality. I don't want to be sitting here as a naysayer on the other end of the screen saying, you can't wear this, you can't wear that. I just wanted to share with you what I've learned over the years working at a hair salon growing up, dyeing my own hair so many different colors in the past and trying numerous wig colors, and then trying those same wigs on family members and friends. After all this time, I feel like I've really come to understand how to make somebody's eyes just pop, and I hope this video helps you to find that perfect color for you. If you have any questions or want me to do another video on a topic of your choosing, please leave it down in the comment section below, and if I think I can help, I'll definitely do a video on it. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I will see you next time.